Inquisitor. We've got trouble ahead. I'm sure it's nothing the Inquisition can't handle. Careful, Your Worship. That optimism might be catching. <laughs> Are things that bad? Crestwood was the site of a flood ten years ago during the Blight. It's not the only rift in the area, but after it appeared, corpses started walking out of the lake. You'll have to fight through them to get to the cave where Sir Hawk's Grey Warden friend is hiding. More walking corpses. At least they won't be a surprise. I nearly stepped on one in the grass the other night, before it started moaning. Maybe someone in Crestwood can tell you how to get to the rift in the lake. Maker knows they'll want help. Good luck, and please be safe. It's just us. I brought the Inquisitor. My name is Toud, and I'm at your service, Inquisitor. I'll take all the help I can get. I know the Wardens have troubles of their own. I wonder, though, might those troubles have anything to do with Corypheus? Mm, I fear it is so. When my friend Hawk slew Corypheus, Weishaupt was happy to put the matter to rest. But an archdemon can survive wounds that seem fatal, and I feared Corypheus might possess the same power. My investigation uncovered clues, but no proof. Then, not long after, every warden in Orlais began to hear the calling. Maker! Why didn't you tell me? It was a Grey Warden matter. I was bound by an oath of secrecy. Is the calling some sort of Grey Warden ritual? The calling tells a Warden that the Blight will soon claim him. It starts with dreams. Then come whispers in his head. The Warden says his farewells and goes to the deep roads to meet his death in combat. And every Grey Warden in Orlais is hearing that right now. They think they're dying. Yes. Likely because of Corypheus. If the Wardens fall, who will stand against the next Blight? It is our greatest fear. So Corypheus isn't controlling them. He's bluffing them with this calling, and they're falling for it. So the Wardens are making some last, desperate attack on the Darkspawn. We are the only ones who can slay Archdemons. Without us, the next Blight will consume the world. Warden Commander Clarell spoke of a blood magic ritual to prevent future Blights before we all perished. When I protested the plan as madness, my own comrades turned on me. Grey Wardens are gathering here, in the Western Approach. It is an ancient Tevinter ritual tower. Meet me there. And we will find answers. I'm glad you made it, Inquisitor. I fear they've already started the ritual. It has to be blood magic. I hope we can stop them before more people get hurt. You take point. I'll guard your backs. Wait! No! Warden Commander Clarell's orders were clear. This is wrong! Remember your oath. In war, victory. In peace, vigilance. In death. I'm sorry. 
sacrifice. Good. Now find them just as I showed you. Inquisitor, what an unexpected pleasure. Lord Livius Eremond de Virantium, at your service. You are no warden. But you are. The one Clarell let slip. And you found the Inquisitor and came to stop me. Shall we see how that goes? Wardens, this man is lying to you. He serves an ancient Deventer Magister who wants to unleash a blight. That's a very serious accusation. Let's see what the Wardens think. Wardens, hands up. Hands down. Corypheus has taken their minds. They did this to themselves. You see, the calling had the Wardens terrified. They looked everywhere for help. Even to Vinter. Yes, and since it was my master who put the calling into their little heads, we in the Venatori were prepared. I went to Clarell full of sympathy, and together we came up with a plan. Raise a demon army, march into the deep roads, and kill the old gods before they wake. Corypheus marching across Orlais with an army of demons. I was shown that back at the Seeker Fortress. And now you know how it begins. Sadly for the Wardens, the binding ritual I taught their mages has a side effect. They are now my master's slaves. This was a test. Once the rest of the Wardens complete the ritual, the army will conquer Thedas. Release the Wardens from the Binding and surrender. I won't ask twice. No, you won't. The Elder One showed me how to deal with you in the event you're foolish enough to interfere again. That mark you bear, the anchor that lets you pass safely through the Veil, you stole that from my master. He's been forced to seek other ways to access the fame. When I bring him your head, his gratitude will be... Kill them! They refuse to listen to reason. You were correct. Through their ritual, the mages are slaves to Corypheus. And the Warden Warriors? Of course. Sacrificed in the ritual. What a waste. Eremond lied to the Wardens. They were trying to prevent future blights. With blood magic and human sacrifice. The Wardens were wrong, Hawk. But they had their reasons. All blood mages do. Everyone has a story they tell themselves to justify bad decisions. And it never matters. In the end, you are always alone with your actions. I believe I know where the Wardens are, Your Worship. Eremond fled in that direction. There's an abandoned Warden fortress that way. Adamant. Good thinking. The Warden and I will scout out Adamant and confirm that the other Wardens are there. We'll meet you back at Skyhold. I can keep staring at this, but I won't get any closer. 
Something I can help you with? Yes. Possibly. You recall the demon at Therenfall? The one impersonating Lord Seeker Lucius? We never found the real Lord Seeker. Or his body. Indeed, I've seen no hint of any Seekers amongst the Red Templars. Or anywhere. I have a growing suspicion Corypheus has imprisoned them. Why imprisoned? He could just as easily have killed them. Not easily. But yes, they may be dead. Yet a demon of envy does not kill whomever it replaces. It hides them away and learns about them. There must be a trail we can follow. Yet so far I have only discovered hints. But they could have ended up just like the Red Templars. Seekers do not use Lyrium. I assume Corypheus gained control of the Templars by corrupting the Lyrium they were already taking. To do the same to a Seeker, you'd have to force the Lyrium upon him. That may be what happened, but it couldn't have begun that way. We're missing a piece of the puzzle, Inquisitor. I need to find it. Finding them obviously means a lot to you. I left the Order, but I can never abandon them. I cannot even claim that rescuing them would be beneficial. They wouldn't look kindly on the Inquisition. But even so, if there's a chance... If we can spare resources to follow up on these leads, Inquisitor, I would appreciate it. Kerr Oswin. Odd that the trail should lead us here. Ban Loren is a pious, unassuming man. What has he become involved in? Might simply be a victim as well. Let's see what lies within. Promises. I should have known. The Order of Fiery Promise is a cult with strange beliefs about the Seekers. They've hounded us for centuries. Is it possible to negotiate with them? They're fanatics, drunk on whatever forbidden magic they can find to make themselves true Seekers. This explains why the Seekers might be here, but not the connection to Corypheus. A Seeker. Did they torture him to death? The Promisers will pay for this! As the Seekers of Truth have proven resistant to the effects of Red Lyrium, the Elder One has seen fit to place them in your care. Reclaim your destiny, and know that the Elder One expects your devotion as repayment. Signed by Magister Calpurnia, leader of the Venatori. Does Corypheus not realize the promises want the world to end? What use are they to him? So Corypheus sold the Seekers to these cultists? And they leapt at the chance, of course. But this doesn't explain how he captured the Seekers in the first place, or what's been done with them. We must keep looking. You sound worried. I am. The Seekers are my family. Daniel! Daniel! Can you hear me? Cassandra! It is you. You're alive. As are you. I'm so glad I found you. No, they put a, a demon inside me. It's tearing me up. What? You can't be possessed. That's impossible. I'm not possessed. They fed me things. I can feel it growing. Can a demon be grown inside someone? Savages! I will tear every last one of them apart! No. The Lord Seeker. Of course we'll find him. If he lives, we'll... Lucius betrayed us, Cassandra. He sent us here, one by one. An important mission, he said. Lies! He was here with them all along. He's still working with them. Cassandra. Now is not the time for sympathy. Wait. Don't leave me like this, please. 
You should have come with me. You didn't believe in the war any more than I did. You know me. I wanted that promotion. <coughs> Go to the Maker's side, Daniel. You will be welcome. He was my apprentice. I have never known a finer young man. Now we find Lord Seeker Lucius. Lord Seeker Lucius. Cassandra, with a man I can only assume is the new Inquisitor. You must be very proud of your handiwork. I presume you know we Seekers of Truth were once the original Inquisition. Oh, yes. We fought to restore order in a time of madness long ago, as you do now. And we became proud. We sought to remake the world, to make it better. But what did we create? The Chantry, the Circles of Magi. A war that will see no end. And aiding Corypheus is supposed to help? Corypheus is a monster with limited ambition. And your ambition is so much greater. We Seekers are abominations, Cassandra. We created a decaying world and fought to preserve it even as it crumbled. We had to be stopped. You don't believe me? See for yourself. The secrets of our order passed to me after the former Lord Seeker was slain. The war with the mages had already begun, but it was not too late for me to do the right thing. And this was the right thing? Lord Seeker, what you've done... I know. What Corypheus did with the Templars does not matter. I have seen the future. I have created a new order to replace the old. The world will end so we can start anew. A pure beginning. Join us, Cassandra. It is the Maker's will. He was insane. He had to be. Perhaps the Envy Demon's influence? Remove the Lord Seeker so it could take over the Templars. All these wasted lives. He could not have destroyed all of us. I won't accept it. Let us return to Skyhold. I wish to see what's in this book of secrets. <sighs> this tome has passed from Lord Seeker to Lord Seeker since the time of the old Inquisition. And now it falls to me. Are you all right? You look drained. On the contrary, it's a delight. I'm riveted. Oh, you're joking. Do you know what the Rite of Tranquility is? The last resort used on mages in the Circle, leaving them unable to cast, but depriving them of dreams and all emotion. It should only be used on those who cannot control their abilities, but that has not always been the case. Deprived of all emotion? That sounds... I always thought it a necessary evil. What finally began the Mage Rebellion was the discovery the right of tranquility could be reversed. The Lord Seeker at the time covered it up. Harshly. There were deaths. It was dangerous knowledge. The shock of its discovery in addition to what happened in Kirkwall. But it appears we've always known how to reverse the right, from the beginning. So, the rebellion could have been prevented. Perhaps, but it was a long time coming, for many reasons. 
We created the right of tranquility. To become a seeker, I spent months in a vigil, emptying myself of all emotion. I was made tranquil and didn't even know. Then the vigil summoned the spirit of faith to touch my mind. That broke tranquility and gave me my abilities. The Seekers did not share that secret. Not with me, not with the Chantry, not even with... There's more. Lucius was not wrong about the Order. I thought to rebuild the Seekers once victory was ours. Now I'm not certain it deserves to be rebuilt. If anyone can rebuild them into something worthwhile, you can. But are they worth rebuilding? You could make them worth it. I... will think on your words. Thank you. I could not have done this on my own. I was hoping we could speak privately. Are we not? Right. Of course we are. The flirting. With me. I've noticed it. Unless it is my imagination, which is entirely possible. No, it's not your imagination. You cannot court me if that's your intention. It's impossible. Why is it impossible, exactly? That should be obvious. Well, it isn't obvious to me. You intend to properly court me? You of all people? Is that what you want? No. I take it back. That is what I want. I want a man who sweeps me off my feet, who gives me flowers and reads me poetry by candlelight. I want the ideal. You are the Inquisitor and the Herald of Andraste. You cannot be that man. I didn't expect you to feel this way. I know what you see. I am a warrior. I am blunt and difficult and self-righteous. But my heart lies beneath all that. It yearns for these things I cannot have. If you cannot see that, then desist. What enamors you is but the surface. I can be that man, Cassandra. The world hinges on our actions. We face death at every turn, Inquisitor. That doesn't change how I feel. It changes everything. I cannot stop thinking of our earlier discussion. You don't actually intend to go through with courting me, do you? I said I would, and I will. I believe you, yet... You don't sound like you believe me. It wasn't a challenge, my lord. You needn't do it simply because I suggested you could not. It's very simple. I care for you. <sighs> you enjoy making things complicated, don't you? May I ask you about the Chantry? I have no better answers on the topic than anyone might. But I'll tell you what I can. The Maker, it's the Inquisitor himself. Would you care for a bouquet of flowers, Your Worship? 
The roses have been exceptional this season. I was looking for some flowers, in fact. Indeed. For what occasion, if I may ask? For a lady friend. Oh, no simple wildflowers for you then. I have just the thing. I'll send them to Skyhold, in fact. Rare beauties your lady will adore. Hello again. I'd like to speak with you. In private. Oh? How private? There's a grove just outside of Skyhold. Meet me there. If you're certain... I am. Trust me. On aching branch do blossoms grow, the wind a hallowed breath. It carries the scent of honeysuckle, sweet as the lover's kiss. It brings the promise of more tomorrows, of sighs and whispered bliss. You can't be serious. <laughs> As I recall, your list was very specific. And that is the poem you chose? What's wrong with it? Carmenum de Amatus. I thought this one was banned. His lips on mine speak words not voiced, a prayer, which travels down my spine like flames that shatter night. His eyes reflect the heaven stars, the maker's light. My body opens, filled and blessed, my spirit there. Not merely housed in flesh, but brought to life. Shall we read another? They will say one of two things about me. I stood at the Inquisitor's side, his protector and his lover. That it was meant to be, that I was led astray by the wiles of a Kunari madman. I don't care what they say. What do you believe? I believe you are a faithful man. I believe you are part of the Maker's plan. Beyond that, I believe only that you are capable of anything. And it frightens me. I have never known anything like it. Only one other man in my life. A mage and shit when I was still very young. He died at the Conclave. I will not let Corypheus win. I will not let him take you from me. I got a little heated. Are you all right? Well, that depends. How angry is Cassandra? I wasn't trying to keep secrets. I told the Inquisition everything that seemed important at the time. You could have told us about Corypheus sooner. I found out he was involved at exactly the same time you did. Until he showed up at Haven, I thought he was dead. Nothing we saw at the summit made me think he'd been there. I know I need to do better. I'm sorry. Corypheus is back. Oh, shit. If you and Hawk defeated him once, we can do it again. We didn't just think Corypheus was dead. He was dead. No pulse, no breath, full of stab wounds. There wasn't a lot of room for doubt. It makes me wonder. I thought the Wardens imprisoned Corypheus to use him. Maybe they did it because he can't be killed. 
There has to be a way to defeat Corypheus. We'll find it, don't worry. I hope you're right. Laker's breath, what have I let loose? You had nothing to do with this, Varric. I was the one who led Hawk to Corypheus. If I hadn't tracked the Carta to that ruin... But you've got more important things to do than listen to me worry. Just let me know when you want something shot. You are quite distracting, you know. Do you have any advice for me? Watch the new recruits. Liliana's spies are inevitable, and I agree. I was hoping we could spend some time together. With you? Always. Welcome to the Inquisition. Thank you. Welcome to the tavern. As you were. Inquisitor. Had you found something that had to do with Wardens? Would have liked to have seen it. I've been meaning to thank you. There are a hundred things that need your attention. You didn't have to take the time to help me. And yet you did. If the history you pursue benefits the Wardens, then it was worth it. I've never been more certain of my decision to join you. There will be opportunities for us to do even more in the future. Then I look forward to it. Nothing right now. Perhaps in a bit. As leader of the Inquisition, you... There's something I must tell you. Whatever it is, I'm willing to listen. Right. Thank you. Lyrium grants Templars our abilities, but it controls us as well. Those cut off suffer. Some go mad, others die. We have secured a reliable source of Lyrium for the Templars here. But I no longer take it. You stopped. When I joined the Inquisition, it's been months now. Cullen, if this can kill you... It hasn't yet. After what happened in Kirkwall, I couldn't. I will not be bound to the Order or that life any longer. Whatever the suffering, I accept it. But I would not put the Inquisition at risk. I've asked Cassandra to... watch me. If my ability to lead is compromised, I will be relieved from duty. Cassandra takes things as seriously as you do. If she has no problem with this, neither do I. I thought you had a right to know. The Inquisition's army must always take priority. Should anything happen, I will defer to Cassandra's judgment. <laughs> 